T-minus three minutes and counting. And everything is looking good for launch this morning. All systems on board Columbia are operating with no problems reported. Hello, and the gaseous oxygen vent hood will be slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. TLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. OTC, PLT, that's in work, we see no unexpected errors. for the flight crew closed and locked advisors and initiate O2 plus. T minus two minutes and counting. Two flowing, thanks a million. Still up to show for ET, LHT, pressurization. DDLPS, no hold, no LCC, RF glitch. We're inhibiting the redundant switch and the active step. Okay, we copy. SPE, you copy? SPE, copy. And you're still go. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. We're performing our nominal pre-plan, and we are still go to continue. Roger, copy that. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T-minus one minute and counting. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. And all continues to look good for a launch of Shuttle Columbia from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And we're coming up on a go for our auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. Roger, roll Columbia. Com Columbia now rolling on to the proper azimuth for a 39 degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Columbia already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, four and a half miles in altitude, the main engines beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Husband, joined on the flight deck by pilot Willie McCool, flight engineer Colton Nachavla, and mission specialist Dave Brown, mission specialist Laurel Clark, payload commander Mike Anderson, and payload specialist Elon Ramon seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 26 seconds into the flight, Columbia 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, traveling at 1,800 miles an hour. away from solid rocket booster separation. Everything looking good on board, Columbia.
Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 43 miles downrange, 35 miles in altitude, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. The propulsion officer and mission control reporting that the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Columbia with a boost uphill for the next 90 seconds. seven miles downrange. Everything aboard Columbia in great shape. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call from Capcom Charlie Hobaugh indicating that should we encounter a main engine failure, Columbia could reach a trans-oceanic abort site in Maroon, Spain. However, all three main engines functioning by the book Columbia 85 miles downrange, 50 miles in altitude, traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour. Columbia's three main engines draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large external fuel tank. Those three main engines operating normally. Columbia heading towards space on the first shuttle mission of the year. Coming up on the point of negative return, where the shuttle will be too far downrange and too high an altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Columbia, Houston, negative return. So we copy negative return. Four minutes into the flight, Columbia already 147 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 62 miles in altitude, traveling more than 5,000 miles an hour, on course and on time for its orbit 150 nautical miles above the Earth. All quiet here in the flight control room. Four and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia 200 miles downrange traveling almost 6,000 miles an hour, 67 miles in altitude, everything looking very good on board. Houston, press to ATO. So we copy, press to ATO. And Columbia, Houston, single engine, Ops 3. Copy, single engine, Ops 3. Those calls from Capcom, Charlie Hobaugh, indicating that should we lose two main engines, we can still make uh, minimal orbital cutoff targets. However, all three main engines continue to function normally and in great shape. Three good fuel cells, three good hydraulic power units. Columbia now 330 miles downrange, 70 miles in altitude, traveling almost 9,000 miles an hour as we approach the six minute mark into the flight. Columbia Houston, press to Miko and single engine Maroon 104. Copy, press to Miko and single engine Maroon 104. Columbia's computers now commanding the main engines to swivel again, enabling the shuttle to roll to a heads up position above its large fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Six and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia 440 miles downrange, traveling more than 10,000 miles an hour. Gravity forces are beginning to pick up for the crew on board. Uh, those gravity forces will be limited to 3Gs as we approach uh, the point uh, about uh, one minute before main engine cutoff. Columbia in great shape, 500 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at the seven minute mark into the flight. Columbia Houston, single engine press 104, and we're expecting
expecting a nominal shutdown on all three engines. Okay, we copy single engine press 104, nominal shutdown. Columbia's main engines are starting to throttle down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Columbia 620 miles downrange, less than a minute away from main engine cutoff. <laughs> 